So here we are filming for um, Beer Network. Uh, day one. We done productions back in action again. With something other than the Survivor or Los So Feel good production. Our first movie production. Our first official this great movie production. So. Okay, day one filming Computer Network. We got a really nice scene. Tom's character is supposed to be getting off the bus after work, coming home. And we actually managed to time it, so you see the bus driving away when he walks onto the shot. So, excellent work. It's going to be good. I hope. Hello, I'm Tom Smith. And I just want to give you a little behind-the-scenes look at what went into making the film The Computer Network, which uh, was filmed and released in the year 2011, and was also Budan Productions' first ever completely 100% original film. And it was also Budan Productions' first drama film. The Computer Network story actually begins all the way back in January of 2011, right after we had had to cancel the contingency plan. Budan Productions at that time had had two films made, The Price of Loyalty, which came out in 2008, and The Shower of Revenge, which came out in 2010, which were both James Bond's fan films. Then we were gonna work on a spy thriller called The Contingency Plan, but it got canceled. So we had to come up with a new film idea because The Contingency Plan had been canceled. The Computer Network, uh, actually his original title was The Achiever. It was a completely different script though. And it was a decent script. I wouldn't say it was as good as the Computer Network script. I mean, it was about a, it was kind of a similar story except without the computer element. I mean, he's trying to be the best at, you know, everything, you know, which of course is an impossible thing to achieve but you know he thinks he can do all these different things and be the best and in the end he has some issues with his friends and in the end there's this like bigger bully type guy he ends up actually the climax of the film was going to be a street fight and i wasn't even sure i hadn't even finished the script so i never even knew if i was going to decide whether he should win the fight or not so the achiever script got kind of canceled because there was snow on the ground which ended up leading us into making the lost scene which was a very successful short film from Budan productions and then i started working on the survivor which is the web series that we created for 2011 and then after the contingency plan failed again to go into production uh, we filmed the lost scene 2 but around that time is when i started really starting to work on the computer network script because I came up with an idea because there was some stuff that had happened recently in my own life that I decided to take elements from that and make the computer network. So I started writing script. It was an okay script. And then some more stuff happened on YouTube. I don't really discuss it too much, but there was some elements that I used a little bit for the computer network that I think in the end actually strengthened the film. So I finished the script in around August of 2011 so finally we were starting to go into production now we used our of course usual cast members me sean phillips chris mooney and james oxford but we also introduced robin hash into the uh lineup of budan productions cast members because we hadn't had a female role in one of our movies since uh Child revenge so it'd been a while since we'd actually had a uh, female role in the films but in the end i mean production went actually pretty well to most of it i mean we had a lot of fun uh just filming different scenes and actually just filming more like regular life i mean this was a drama film this was definitely a different type of film than we ever used, you know, so we didn't actually have like um, Sean Phillips's Blue Carbon Studios do any vis effects since there were no visual effects in the movie. But I mean, it gave us a chance, you know, I mean, we play video games and, you know, we did actually play a few video games in there and I could use a few camera tricks, you know, and it was still using our HD cameras. We also used the program Sonic Fire Pro 5 for our music, which gave us a royalty free music for the first time in, uh, we done productions films which was pretty cool i think most of the people played their roles pretty well chris played his probably the 
best out of all of us because, you know, he just was himself. Out of mostly out of all of us. Sean was also pretty much himself. James was... Actually, everyone was pretty much themselves. With the exception of me. I know sometimes I can get the way George is, but it's... I took it to a more of an extreme. That could have been me if I had allowed myself to go down that path. We also got to film on the uh, University of Missouri's campus grounds, which is a great location. I love filming there. It's awesome. And, you know, we got some really great shots. There is actually one deleted scene. There's a couple of deleted shots that weren't used because the audio was so bad. I mean, there was one uh, scene where um, I filmed it at really a bad angle, and in the end I decided it really didn't need to be filmed. It slowed it down. That scene got ended up being cut, and there was also a scene on the campus where uh, George is uh, struggling in uh, college. So I, I thought that was pretty uh, interesting scene. It, it got some good. It was really a scene that didn't really need to be in the film. It's not even in the script. We just kind of filmed it since we were on campus. We were like, you know what? We'll film this. If we can use it, we'll use it. If we can't, we won't. And in the end, it didn't really fit. But it, it got a couple of shots of it got into the uh, trailer. Well, guys, it's been fun, but I gotta get to class. I will see you all. Gotta go. Later. But in the end, it just, it was supposed to be, you know, him talking to Chris and James about how he's uh, nearly getting ready to drop out of college. You know, of course, they're trying to encourage him and everything. But in the end, it just slowed the film down a lot. You know, so after we did all the dubbing, I did some a lot of editing. This is the most audio editing I've ever done because I had to get background sounds and then put the dubbing on top of that, figuring out which lines needed to be dubbed and which ones didn't need to be dubbed, you know, and trying to get the dubbing to work. It was it was a struggle in the um, post-production area. Uh, that was probably where the biggest struggle was. But in the end, it was released on December 16th, 2011 two actually great reviews it, it, it did very well I was very surprised we were all very pleased and it's really helped us get ready for uh, 2012 even though we aren't planning on any more drama films in the near future but maybe one day we will because I mean my first film idea I ever came up with even before Budan Productions was ever established was a drama film involving uh, bike racing, bicycles. It was going to have like this big bicycle race at the end of the movie and everything. And, you know, one day I'd like to maybe have a chance to film that uh, movie, but I, I don't know if we will or not. 2012 is really opening up into an action uh, film year for Budan Productions, but this was a nice change of pace, and I'm glad for everyone's support. Plus, as well, the cameos of Matthew Wood, Martin Groff, and Joel Reiner. Special thanks to them for being for being in the movie as part of his uh, Skype call chats, which is pretty cool. So I hope you all will continue to watch Budan Productions films. I hope you enjoyed this little behind-the-scenes look at the. Uh, computer network and how it uh, began as just the simple the achiever script and then evolved into the computer network and was actually be able was able to be filmed and released on YouTube in the year 2011 so thanks for watching and we hope to see you all in the year 2012